Hi folks, welcome back for more. Let's play Back to the Future the Game, Episode 5. Now I've restored an earlier save, back before we started messing with the recording device and making all the phone calls, etc, etc, etc. I haven't picked up the potted plant yet, so I haven't gone into the glass, into the house of the future yet. But... And you notice that we still have all the players on stage for the next, uh, for the exhibits. What we need to do is go ahead and get Emmett. A, this changes a few of the conversations later, and B, it keeps us from hitting that nasty little bug. Mr. Duto? Oui? I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A uh, distracted look? That's him. Any idea where he went? He just passed by here with an older gentleman. I think they were added into the house of black. Great, thanks. So yeah. If I'm not mistaken, entering the house of the future and messing with the things there before Hey! Emmy, come out of there! Doing all Don't this. Again. We've heard this before, so I'm gonna talk over it. Going into the house of the future before we come in here messes things up Perfect. and creates this little bug where the house of glass is unusable. I think they've got it fixed in a in a patch or a later download, but I haven't bothered to download it mainly because okay, I want to show off these bugs. Emmett Emmett, don't listen to him. He, he's crazy. I'm still not sure about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas glass. Unbreakable and soundproof. Soundproof glass. Great. Our living space can be configured to meet the needs of any family. Need a private study? Simply slide the walls in. Or slide them out again to create a spacious banquet hall. Okay, and now you see, now that I haven't messed with anything, the handles and the windows are all interactable. So let's start Emmett, interacting. Get out of this place and back to your booth. You're gonna miss the demo. Come on, Emmett, look up here. Ah. So what we need to do is, you saw them slide the walls in and around, right? Well, what we need to do is start sliding walls ourselves. go and I would explain how I do this but it honestly it takes too long and I'll flub the explanation more than I do most things but we need to move that blue one so we could move this red one because if we had the blue one still in place the red one would be stuck and now we need to try to move the yellow now that it's not stuck And then you want to be able to get back here, but this is now stuck. So I believe the next move, we move that out of the way. Okay, and the you see how the blue wall is blocking that one? Yeah, we need to move it now. Yeah, it takes a little bit of going back and forth here to solve this. We'll have to go back and forth to the various walls. And the blue one was the one blocking it. Can I not get to the blue one anymore? No, I can't. Okay, how did I do this? I don't need to get back there. Maybe that's... Yeah, I think that's what I needed to do. Let's move that. Well, no, wait a bit. Moving this handle. 
That should help move things along. I think that will be helping me block it. I think. Yeah, that's one of the things that was helping block it. And of course... We're too late. And Doc gives us that little confident smirk as he chloroforms young Emmett. Let's see. And that's all we really had to do. I mean, if we'd have run in there, we'd have, you know, been fine. But we didn't. And this is why I think entering the House of the Future... Why did you take him now, oh, wait, Doc? did you see the diver pop back up? Greetings I did. again, mortals! This is Techni, Muse of Progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. And now she moves up Mr. Ernest Philpot, which is the name of that one guy. Since we're here, we can yoink the plant. This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. Yeah. But before we do anything else in here, I'll say that I'm pretty sure that actually entering here and tinkering around with the plant and all that before we, uh, go through the glass house and try to rescue Emmett, I'm pretty sure that's what screws things up, because then we've moved the entertainment center. Or we've interacted with the entertainment center, and it's screwed up the whole glass house bit. But for now... Okay, sorry about that, folks. I kind of messed up this little section, so I cut out the bit I messed up, and I'm going to redo it properly. So, you notice that the diver just kind of popped up there, you know, when we got out from behind, when we, when we came out of the bookcase in the, the future exhibit, he kind of popped up. So I'm kind of fishy about that, and we're looking for Emmett. He hadn't gone anywhere. But let's see if Invention not special, you. He won't talk to me. Let's see if revisit. Arthur has hey, anything Artie. to say about it. Did Emmett come through here with Carl Sagan? I saw them come out of the future furnishings exhibit not too long ago. But no, they didn't leave the hall. Okay. See you around. Maybe she's see. Hi, Trixie. Now, what can I do you for? Did Emmett come through here with Carl Sagan? Sorry. So. Thanks. Neither one of them saw anything. So that means that Emmett and Emmett must still be on the grounds, right? Well, obviously, since you popped up just as soon as we exited the future exhibit. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. Hey, just left about a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch that. Yeah, you heard that, and it's obviously not Jacques Duteau. It's obviously Doc. Or Citizen Brown in this case. So, you know, let's take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. And the inland air is difficult on my sinus hands. Hmm. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology, but I fail to understand what you're. Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with that? Stop! Emmett? Help! I'm being attacked! Harry, Smooth, what Marty. are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy is obviously uh, confusing. I'll say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jacques Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. 
No, it's not. It's... Please, keep it down. The Expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duto. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm gonna have you expelled from the hall. Professor Duto, huh? At your service. Hmm. So you see what's going on here. What have you done with the real Professor Duto? I'm not sure I like your insinuations. I'm not sure I like you kidnapping Emmett. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold-blooded guy, Duto. Say la vie. Where did you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. And so we want to look. I think I'm going to take a closer look at that bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid, sir. Hey! Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? No. See that you don't. Feels good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> <laughs> good old cue ball. Now see, we actually do have that, but... Like a ride in a bathosphere. Your bathosphere. I'd like to see the inside of it. Can't get in without a ticket, I'm afraid. But you see, we have tickets. You're not gonna get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. Mm. So let's go ahead and use the turnstile, since we have a ticket. Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Now oh, give me a break. The wrong kind of ticket, ticket huh? man who saw the possibilities in Pond Scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot. Thanks, Trixie. Uh, technique. Now that he's really up there, to be here today, among all you we need to go ahead and grab this, because we will need it later. Cakes, but free samples are free samples. And gentlemen, is a mysterious and little-known biological entity. Through diligent study and countless hours of and technically, we probably could harass the guy on stage, so let's try. I am here to present my discoveries to our disbelieving world. Oh, give me a break. And unfortunately, he didn't want to do it. next wave in the agricultural revolution of the 20th century. Algae is just... Yeah, come on. Go, go, go. Vitamins A through J. Well, since he's not honoring our ticket... There's one person in here who's in charge that might be able to force the issue. Hey, Artie. Now, see, we could tell him that Emmett's tracking That's Charles Sagan in the deep-sea diving suit, and he's holding Emmett captive in the bathosphere. You're making a pretty serious allegation, mister. I'll have to look into it right after the show. Which doesn't help us. But since he won't take the ticket... This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure, that's a pee ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm, there must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duto, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder. And I will raise the bathroom sphere. Hmm. Mon dieu, what is the matter? The gears, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the bathroom sphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes, it is, it is, it is. Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps if you come back later. Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very interesting. I will be back later to highlight another of our <laughs> fine exhibitors. 
See you soon. Well, unfortunately, that moves up another slot, so we're kind of running out of time. <laughs> the Bathosphere exhibit is currently closed for repairs. Uh -huh. I'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait. But for now, I'm going to consider this a stopping point because I'm not sure exactly how long this video is. And when we come back, we will see if we can deal with Mr. Fake Duteau there. See you next time, folks. Take care.